Hey everybody, um, possibly the most awkward video angle we've had yet. Uh, howdy, am I in it? Can you see? Yeah, you're definitely there, yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very small space to film in to get all of us. I, I thought, bugger the two cameras, yeah. let's just go with the one. Yeah, so. We've got the security camera surveillance, the CCTV version. Oh, and I was unnerved. <laughs> last, yeah, last week's um, video was completely out of sync when it uploaded. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured this won't matter as much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be able to see our mouths. It was perfectly in sync when, when I cut it. It should have been. It would have been good for the um, the Chop Suey one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, shit. So we're going we're gonna to do some spitball. Um, maybe we'll just do one each because we like to prattle on a lot. Mm. Like you guys well, like, like to prattle on a lot. I feel like that's a. I think, I think, I think, I think that like was directed at you, and then he he added the uh, you yeah. guys. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't making eye contact. Hey, this with is me. this is never an issue when it's Ben and I. You know, we we've done oh, any yeah. of these, mate. It's very concise. Yeah, there's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're the never addition. a digression. <laughs> <laughs> you're the additional factor, yeah, mate. Yeah, true. I'm the wild card. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'll go first. Just to show Jared oh, how it's done or yeah, remind right. him. Okay. That's what the water's from. Don't drink from it. Ben did that once. <laughs> did you? I, I did, did you I drink from it? I did my own my drinking water <laughs> by accident. Oh. Oh, oh, wow. wow. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Monster Pictures release. It is. Okay, so it landed on well, both of the, the second two Rampage films. Oh, yeah. You got two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, which is the Uber Bowl films. And you guys look like you're reluctant to talk. Oh, well, you know. Well, you know. Did they go into profit? <laughs> well, we we released them as part of a contra deal oh, with yes. uh, Michael Kratzer, mm. who's a uh, German... Reconteur. Uh, New Zealand-based German yes. film producer and distributor. Yeah. Uh, and he uh, he licensed both those films. He's a big Uber Bowl fan. I don't know if he's ever actually seen any of the I don't think he watches films. any of the films he <laughs> hey, releases, to be honest. But, uh, Probably doesn't say much when I tell you that I'm an Uber Bowl fan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they would have to be his most divisive films, though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I do yeah. enjoy them. I think the first one's probably the best. And Of course you know. it is. Yeah, the second two were... Like, he bought them on the back of the first one, but mm. he didn't have the first one. Yeah. No. Which uh, didn't allow us to do any kind of a box set or anything. I think uh, the first one came out through a proper label like Sony or something yeah. like that. Can you That's imagine weird. pumping those films out today in today's political yeah, climate? God. Like, you couldn't. Yeah. You couldn't. Not without being completely oh, like, mm. cancelled immediately. Yeah. <laughs> but, but the thing is, the people who cancel that stuff aren't the people who Uber Bowl cares about. Yeah, yeah that's right. If people yeah. that cancel it, they don't watch it. They yeah. just see the poster or the trailer and that's enough. They would cancel it. But, that, it but doesn't, no, no, but that kind of applies to most people to get cancelled now is because their fans don't, don't care. Don't care. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, that's what I always say. Yeah. You can't be cancelled. Like, you can only cancel yourself. Yeah. You can be yeah. like inhibited or, you know, slowed down, mm. but you can't mm. actually be cancelled. No. You just pick up and... That's it. There's always a platform to voice, yeah. to have an opinion, to be able to say your piece. Yeah. Right. Well, who wants to go next? You've oh, already look, lubed up. I've lubed this thing. You made the mistake though. You squeeze too hard. That's not going to stick. Oh no! Look, it's it's, it's just gonna, it's very. It's all right. Gonna, it's going right. to stay sloppy. Or you got to go it's hard, gotta mate. It's going to stay sloppy. You got to okay. go hard. Oh, hey. <laughs> the Great Escape Part Two. Oh Jesus Christ! And the Good German. Well, you take your pick, mate. Well, look, I've never actually seen the Great Escape Two, so I'm going to go with the Good German. Because was that the one that was is dr directed by George Clooney or only Soderberg. starring Soderbergh? Oh, okay. Well, let me just I. I did see this because Clooney's in it, isn't he? He plays the leader. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. it came around the same time as Syriana. It's like a, which a Casablanca Clooney remake. did direct Syriana? Clooney did, yeah. Yeah, he did. Okay, yeah. so they came around at the same time. I remember seeing well, both he? of them. But it's all of them. No, he, he didn't direct he it. He's he did just started it again. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. produced yeah. it. And he did Good Night and Good Luck yeah. around that time, maybe. <laughs> he did direct it's that one? That, what's, what's, his, what's his production company called? Um, uh, Plan B, or is that? He did it. They're all those men who stare at goats. Yeah, I did like that They all came out in that kind of The Good German, I can't say too much other than I've never really liked Steven Soderbergh. There's very few films of his catalogue that I like. And I will say I did start to watch The Limey recently because I never Never saw yeah, it when it came one. out. Then I couldn't get no. ten minutes into it. The oh, camera was just moving too. around. It was making me motion sick. I, look, I, I don't like, love oh, Steven Soderbergh, but I really yeah. like what he is. Like yeah. he can bounce between a three thousand dollar film totally and then the yeah. oceans. You know, mega, oh, yeah. mega yeah, absolutely. film. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I always liken him in a weird way to um, the filmmaker's name, who I can't remember. The, the chap that did Boyhood and the before movies, Richard Linklater. Link, Linklater, yeah. and I think he is a genius. They're but, audacious because yeah, he he takes different, and he was able to jump around like a film like Tape which is extraordinary, yeah. and then do something that's just really sort of 
um, big hearted. But also, and beautiful. he kept films yeah. under wraps like 13 yeah. years with that one. Yeah, you God, know? incredible. The greatest secret known to man. So, I we've talked about <laughs> everything but that movie, but I will say, I'm not a massive fan of Steven Soderbergh. When I see his forget name on a the movie, grassy knoll. I have to forget. <laughs> I have to question whether I'll end up watching a Stephen. I was like, oh. I do Tim. enjoy some. Like, when I yeah. like his films, I really like them. And then yeah. when I don't, like, I really don't. Yeah. I yeah. think, like, Magic, Logan Magic, Lucky. Magic Mike. L- Logan Lucky's just um, redneck yeah. Like, oceans. Yeah. Didn't like that I one. Didn't I didn't enjoy it. Haywire. Yeah. I really liked Haywire that. was amazing. Haywire is one of the didn't, few that I actually quite enjoyed. It's a good action have, movie. Did yeah. that have Gina Carano in it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. It did. I did enjoy that. It was a good action film. I yeah, didn't expect, fast. I didn't actually expect that from him. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, good one. Yeah. You don't want to talk about The Great Escape 2? No. Like I said, I've never seen it. How many of the cast from The Great Escape return for The Donald Great Escape Pleasance 2? Donald Pleasance is the only one. But <gasps> wow. this is not that Playing kind of sequel. Because he gets killed in this. Movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, well, the, the, the gist of this one is in the movie, you know, the, yeah. the two groups go separate ways. Right, okay. And yeah, The Great yeah. Escape follows one. This mm. movie follows the other. Right, okay. Yeah. And what year, this was an 80s sort of sequel, wasn't it? Made for television. Yeah. Chris, um, what's his name? <laughs> Superman, Christopher Reeve. Uh, there's a few yep. good good people in there. It's okay, a good movie. Cool. It's, yeah, yeah. I like oh, it. I'd be curious to check it out. It's four given, hours long. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really four hours long? Because it was a TV miniseries. Yeah. No, nah, maybe I'll give it a miss. I'll get to Justice League <laughs> before I get there. Get, you can watch it over two nights. <laughs> I'm waiting for Ready, Ready Harlan's <laughs> reshoot. The only reason <laughs> I stopped to backtrack on that yeah. one is so that I can put the Great Escape 2 poster on the screen because I just mm. you know I like talking about part two sequels. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that was all. <laughs> Look at that. He knows what he's doing, mate. The whole yeah. glass goes... You're a crafty veteran. I wonder if you've got an OnlyFans <laughs> account. <laughs> Where did it go? It's Great. on the tripod. <laughs> oh, okay. I felt it. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have There's to go there. again. Have to take a mulligan. Unless you want to think of your favourite movie involving tripods, which would be War of the Worlds. No? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. Willem Dafoe, Body of Evidence. <laughs> 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 the human tripod. No, that's, a, that's a great throw. Uh, oh, yes, shame. Oh, oh, is that a monster <laughs> pitcher's time? Yeah. Oh, oh, it's from what's next to Greasy Scramble. And Goonies. I was going to say, that doesn't seem is right. Though one starts GR and then yeah. you go GO. No, they're not, they're only they're alphabetical not strictly by alphabetical. By they're, by, they're by letter. <laughs> My OCD. Yeah. <laughs> uh, every, time, every time I look at the wall, it upsets me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Does he have a copy of this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Could be anywhere. Find the first F and then the last, last F, F and F. work your way through. You've seen Goonies, haven't you? <laughs> You've never seen Goonies? No, no. Like uh, it's I had a feeling you had never seen Goonies. That's why I asked. I was pretty sure. You really hate films from 1985-86, don't you? I've also seen Goonies. Oh, okay. I was going to say, because he told me today he hadn't seen Top Gun. Dude, and I, I know he told me that once you had, before. I thought this was like an April Fool's thing. <laughs> like, hang on, what's going on right I, now? I legit seen. bought that he hadn't seen Goonies there for a second. But he hasn't seen Top Gun. Never seen Top Gun. I'm really excited about Top Gun 2. Maverick. Seen, I have no, feel, do not feel the need to watch But have Top you Gun. seen Topper Gun from the Asylum? <laughs> no, that sounds great. I have seen the porno. Uh, Topless this, gun. This ain't Top Gun XXX. <laughs> was, uh, right. It's quite good. So, so you haven't seen Top Gun, but you've seen Hot Shots? Yes. <laughs> have you seen Hot Shots Park? <laughs> yeah, <part Duke>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Like Half the jokes just were over yeah. my head. I was yeah. like, I don't know what this is based on. It's just good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, to save time, you two can have one more go and we'll just... Oh, I don't. I actually I didn't realise I had to split up the paper. I thought we only got one turn. Um, you're not well, going to talk about either of those movies. We never talk about what we land on. Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> right. Movie. That makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> it leads to I, other conversations. I think he's aiming for stuff like because Greasy Strangler dude. <laughs> so oh, yeah. It felt like you aimed for that rampage, and I don't know what you were going for here with the tripod, but I dare say there's a monster pitches type uh, the, behind the it. Good, the bad, the ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about that movie. Never seen it. No, I, uh... I think you overestimate my aiming ability. Ooh, I'm going to go with Falling Down because I don't know what the other one is. Frequently asked questions about time travel. Definitely haven't seen it. Falling Down, Joel Schumacher, absolute classic. Love this movie. You don't, you don't want to talk about the, the more interesting one? The FAO Sports <laughs> uh, documentary about the toy shop in New York? No, never heard of it. Okay, we'll talk about Falling Down quickly, but just Falling for people who don't know about the other what one, a movie. It's, it's, it's like a Simon Pegg kind of film. Ah, it's uh, okay. Chris O'Dowd and Anna Ferris. And oh, they're in a pub, but they're caught good. in a time loop. Oh, geez, that sounds oh, okay. actually sounds pretty good. It's Is fantastic. that fairly recent? No, it's about 2015. Oh, okay, that's good. No, I would definitely watch that, but I'd probably watch Fallen Down, Fallen Down one more time. <laughs> Rob Duvall, you poison it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Damn straight. A great film. Um, real, like, career change to see Michael Douglas, like, take a real character kind of role like that movie. 
I remember being like obsessed with the marketing of the movie when it was in the cinemas and I had to go, you know, and see it. No one would go see it at the movies, renting it out on video. And like, it was unlike, I think it really stands out as a Joel Schumacher film, unlike any other Joel Schumacher films. It's not that flashy sort of sense about it. It's just a good, proper story. You, you have this kind of character that you really do feel for. He does he, he does stand up. Well, immediately immediately it was the relatability that, that sold that film. And it starts yeah. with that traffic jam where oh, the, everything yes. irritates him, the fly, totally. the totally. sun, the heat, people yeah. in other cars. You can feel it all. Yeah, and that's like, a genius yeah. intro because it gets Incredible. you on his side immediately. Love, I do love think it. about the hamburger, the McDonald's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Every, every, time, yeah. every time. Every time. Every time. Every like, time. Like, like even yeah. last night, Jared and I last night... Mm had McDonald's on the way home from Mount Eliza and uh, I opened up my triple cheeseburger mm. and so there's the bun, <laughs> here's one patty, here's the other patty and yes. the third patty is on the bottom. It's like, like Jenga. Do you it's, know like a, it's like a Jenga I, thing. I don't know it's like where a this, diagram. I don't know where mm. this conversation is going. But <laughs> do you know why? Because they put the burger in both sides of the, the thing yeah. and then they just flip the whole flip box. It. Yeah, it's disappointing. Know? And that's what... There's no, no artistry to... You know, but so, the other thing I will say is we had to wait like an inordinate amount of time. And I was fine with that because like, the kids are young. <laughs> they're making not. the burgers. But I'm looking at the staff and I'm like, oh, God, I can't believe. Like, I have no, I love McDonald's. I eat McDonald's probably weekly. But I, I, I usually get it delivered by menu log or, you know, whomever. <laughs> um, I'm really at the restaurant watching the staff prepare the burgers and seeing the age of the staff and the disenchanted sort of look in their <laughs> eyes or, the, the, or the, the deadness. And it just made me sad. And I was like, oh, God. Oh, oh, it's like um, like hearing the stories about Amazon employees pissing into plastic cups because they can't take breaks and stuff. And I was like looking at it going, oh, it's it's tragic. But then I bite into that burger and I'm like, that's pretty good. <laughs> if, you don't, if, if you don't look at it too much, it's not, yeah. it tastes all right, you know. You know, at at yeah. least, um, least the subway have artists. Yes, so, true. You know, yeah, you know, yeah. there's attention to detail there. That that Jared, he was a real artist. <laughs> <laughs> ben, Ugh. last time, quick, take us away. Oh look at see uh, look at that! It he reels it back in, mate. Oh yeah, you, it just, this is this will cover ten. <laughs> Highlander five. <laughs> I thought it was Highlander three. I, I like, almost Ooh. I almost watched this two days ago. Which one is Highlander five? The one with uh, Alexander Paul. He's in four and five. Right. This is the Brett Leonard one. This one's oh, seen Brett I've Leonard. Seen Highlander three. So uh, you've was you've where I stopped. You've landed at an edition that oh, no, is a director's that director's cut and theatrical cut, and wow. it's set far in the future. So it's like a dystopian kind of thing. So it's like Highlander two. Yeah, kind of, but much more cyberpunk. Right. Much more cyberpunk. What you mean? There isn't a planet of Highlanders <laughs> uh, led by Michael Ironside. Well, that doesn't exist in the Renegade cut, does it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I haven't seen the Renegade cut. Oh, the Renegade cut is phenomenal. I've got it in the collection. I've not watched it yet. It is yeah. fundamentally different. Yeah. Right. Fundamentally. It's, it is, it's there's no, Mul- there's no planet's preferred, obviously. It's his cut, yeah. It's the one they set out to make, and then yeah. the studio... Is Michael lost... Ironside in it? Yeah. 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 He, doesn't, he doesn't ride a horse in this one? Can't remember, but they're not from the planet Zeist. I know oh, that. Wow. Um, they're just from the future. I can't believe you know the name of the planet. Oh, Mate, man, he knows a lot about the, the Highlanders of, here. I don't know about the name of the actor. Like, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, says he who Who's brings the... up every bimbo with tits from the <laughs> 1970s. <laughs> because they got their tits out. Yeah. <laughs> well, Michael Ironside, I don't know if you saw yeah. nobody, but, you know, he had his tits out. Yeah, they're beautiful. <laughs> yeah, but, like, that's, but that's the person, like the planet yeah. that they're talking about. Oh, it's iced. <laughs> well, there was a moment in time when the Renegade Cut came out that it was a yeah. big deal. Everyone yeah. was across it because we wanted to see how a mm. bad film could be made good. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I love it. So five. The five didn't go theatrical here, though. Yeah, not in Australia. No, no. Okay, it's fair um, and it's very CGI based. Brett right. Leonard is famous for oh, his... of course the Lawnmower Man yeah. guy, for virtuosity. Famous for his yes. um, never making a good movie. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. He hasn't. He hasn't. But do you know he's yeah. a really renowned um, what do you call him? Um... Hideaway. That's another one of his. <laughs> <laughs> feed. Jesus. Oh, feed wasn't bad actually. Feed. That was the Aussie one. He made that he made here. Man thing. Yeah. Yeah, man thing based yeah. on the Stan Lee comic book. Is it? Yeah, right. What do you call him? He's a futurist. And in, in right. America, he's actually on the... I said this to um, Clayton Jacobson the other week. He's on some list of the most pioneering 25 wow. figures in America. Like yeah, in right, American right, culture. right. Wow, yeah. incredible. Yeah. Brett I mean, Lannard. Lawnmower yeah. Man did pave the way for a lot of things. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, Job's War. Job's War, for instance. <laughs> it paved the way for Job's War. Well, how good's that? Uh, Beyond Cyberspace, a.k.a. Beyond Cyberspace. Mate, I love yeah. Lawnmower, Lawnmower Man too. It's actually pretty cool. It is. <laughs> what it is is bizarre. It's Matt Frewer. You, yeah. can't, you can't go wrong with Matt Frewer. No. 
So is there an, any more after that, after the Highlander movie, the number five? Did they make any yeah, more? Yeah, they made an anime sequel, which oh, is actually yeah. right, okay. probably the best story-wise yeah. of all of them. Right. And is that, um, is that, that was it? That's it. It's been a long time number between five killed them, mate. Number five say. killed them. There was a remake yeah. like number happening. Four yeah. <laughs> number four was the crossover with the TV show. That's yeah, sort of what right. That was. Yeah. It was supposed yeah. to be a passing of the torch. Kind of. Well, they pass the torch in the TV show. Like, the pilot yeah. episode has Connor. Christopher Lambert. Is it Connor McLeod? Yeah, yeah. Was Christopher that Lambert pops up and goes, show. you know, you, now it's you. So, yeah. and then he fucks off. It's like, well, now there can only be only one, but but you're just... Yeah, yeah what happened to you? Yeah, you're yeah. there. You've just said to yeah. him, go and be the one. It's like, yeah. are you going to kill really yourself? Really got to cut his head off. Come yeah. on. They never really explained why. <laughs> Do it, man. Cut one. his fucking head off. Yeah, and then you get the anime and there's something new. Actually, the Highlanders in part five, I think, you know, we've suddenly multiplied and they're looking for the source so they can end the curse. Yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Considering that... When he kills Gurg, the Gurgan or whatever the hell his name is, <laughs> the, in the first one. How the fuck do you know these the names? The Gurgan. The <laughs> Isn't that what Clancy Brands? The Kurgan. The Kurgan. No, he carries a jar of Gurg. But he's yeah, like, yeah. he wins the thing, and he's like, yeah. ah, he's the only one. And then yeah. Highlander Two happens, and that's batshit crazy, and doesn't mm. really count. Then Highlander Three comes out, and Mario Van People says, like, you think you're the last one, but I was in fact frozen, so you're not the last one. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. yet then. In part four, there's like ten, like Donnie Yen is a Highlander, and mm. and he like, and that was the big disappointment is that they've got all these. It's like uh, Blade Two, right? right. Got these awesome dudes in the blood pack, and yeah. then they just get killed like t- kind of twenty minutes in, and you're yeah, like, oh, yeah, I yeah. want to see, I want to see uh, Danny John Jules do some cool shit. Hang on, in this, he's one of the blood pack in uh, Blade Two, it from Red Dwarf, yeah. Oh, I've got to watch Blade Two again. I've got it on Blu-ray. <laughs> it's, it's still him, sealed. Like, it's, it's him. <laughs> Donnie, oh. Donnie Yen, um, wow. Ron Perlman, Leonora yeah. Varela, whatever her yeah. name is, and then the guy from, from Fast and Furious with the jacket, who's the fucking hammer dude. Um, he's the kind of the one who doesn't like, uh, uh, what's his name, Paul? Uh, Paul Walker. Paul Walker, yeah. Uh, okay. The first one who doesn't trust right, him, but he's right. actually the one who's yeah. like untrustworthy. Wow, there you oh, go. Yes. I definitely have to watch Blade 2 again. Yeah. Another another good round of spitball, and if you're mm. wondering what that noise is in the background, I forgot to turn the fan off. Oh, so, but we're, we're very cool, though. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> right. Cool as. Um, all right. We like to bring the fans into the show. 